stack of books on my bed, teetering dangerous, teetering dangerously. That's giving me a bit of anxiety. Hello humans. I am currently on school holidays, but not really school holidays because I'm leaving school, but if I was still at school, I'd be on school holidays. I'm currently on break from educational studies, and as you know, when I'm on break, I read about a trillion books. Because I finally have time to, and I've been waiting like 10 weeks to read books again. And on the first day of my educational break, this really good friend of mine, Jenna, texted me and was like, Hey, let's go out for coffee. And I was like, okay, cool. So we went out and got coffee, and of course we went to the coffee shop that's like, across the road from the library. I'm sure everyone can piece together what happens next. Oh my good lord. Oh. Ta-da! Oh. Yeah, that happened. Now some of those books are books that Jenna lent me herself, some of them are books that I borrowed from the school library, and the rest of them are books that I borrowed from my local library. But today I'm gonna go through this list and do a bit of a borrowed book haul. I don't know if that's a thing, but I'm gonna make it a thing. So I'll start off with books I borrowed from my school library. This is the first one called All This Could End by Steph Bo. I actually saw Steph Bo speak earlier this year at some uh, library conference that I went to. It was like a blogging session, and she has a blog. So I heard her speak, but I'd never read anything of hers, and I hadn't really gotten around to it until now. And then I read this. Oh my goodness, so good. Yes, I have already read it but it's great. It's about a girl named Nina whose whole family are bank robbers and about a boy named Spencer who she meets and they become friends and then his world falls apart and it's really interesting. And it's a good book and I recommend it to everyone. Everyone should read this. The next book I borrowed from the school library is Dissonance by Erica O'Rourke. I think that's how you would say her name. And it is set in a world where there are these breeds of people called walkers and they can travel through dimensions by listening to them and then picking out the strands and frequencies and stuff. It sounds abstract, but it is so good. Yes, I finished this one as well. It's really fantastic. It sounds complicated. But that's what makes it so good. It's so intricate that you're just like, I don't know how anyone would ever come up with all of that in their head. The next book I borrowed from the school library was Anomaly by Kristen McGee. I've read some of Kristen McGee's teen Christian romance books and I really liked those. And then I saw that she had a sci-fi book out and I was like, okay, all right, I'll get into I'll just... I'll jump on this bandwagon. And this book is set in the future where there's been nuclear warfare and they've taken everyone underground and every person has a specified task that they've been raised to do and only that and there's no emotions. So obviously the project has emotions because what would the story be without that? And stuff happens and she's gonna get killed but then she doesn't get killed and it's just like, okay, who knows what's happening? But it's a good book and I really enjoyed it. Next I'll do books that Jenna let me herself. First one that Jenna let me is this book by James Patterson and Gabrielle Char Charbon? Charbonnet? Charbonnet? Yep. Yeah. And it is called Sunday at Tiffany's. And the tagline is, what if your imaginary friend was your one true love? Jenna told me, she was like, this is the kind of book that sounds stupid and is a little bit stupid, but it's just so adorable and romantic that you just love it anyway. And I need more of those in my life, so I'm really excited to remember that. The next book Jenna lent me is Ingo by Helen Dunmore. And the reason she let me this is because last time I lent her some books, I gave her one of my favorite childhood books, which was actually this one, Elizabeth Good's The Little White Horse. So I gave it to Jenna and was like, this is what I read as when I was a kid. And she was like, okay, here's what I read when I was a kid. And it's about mermaids. And the last book that Jenna lent me is Girl Online, which is Zoe Sugg's book, but not really Zoe Sugg's book because it was ghost written. And I've always been a bit hesitant to read this because I'm like, there's been all this hype and then it turns out you didn't even really write it and then it's like, I just feel a bit betrayed. I'm keen to read this just to see what it's like. I don't really have any expectations. And last but certainly not least, I'll do the books that I got from my council library. The first set of books, I actually got three and they are the second, third and fourth books in the Fallen series by Lauren Kate. I've read these before. I have the first one and I freaking love them. They are so good. They're about fallen angels and it sounds weird and it sounds like Bella, why the hell would you read that? But they are so good. I love them insanely much and I have the first one so I'm going to read the first one and then I'm going to come back to these and I'm just really excited because they're so good and I just... You know those books that you just love and you keep coming back to? Yeah, that's these books. The next book that I borrowed from my council library is City of Lost Souls which is book 5 in the Middle Instruments series. I've kind of been reading this series as I found the books, I have the first four. I bought myself the first book and then I loved it and then I kind of read them as I went along. And then for Christmas, mum got me one to four. But I hadn't read one to five and I love this series. It's so good. 
Clary and Jace are my OTP. And then you find out that people that played them in the movie are actually dating Lily Collins and Jamie Campbell Bowen. I follow her on Instagram and there's friends of them all the time and I'm like, it's every shipper's dream to have their fictional OTP and the people that played them, their OTP, be together. Like, it's just, my life is perfect in that respect. The next book I borrowed from my state library is A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. Janet said I would really like this and then I started to read it and I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. And then I read more of it and I really liked it. And then I finished it and I was like, oh my goodness, I love this book. It is so good. It's about a girl named Marguerite who goes dimension hopping to find the guy that she thinks has killed her father who invented the interdimensional hopper called the Firebird. And things happen and there's another guy called Theo and they're chasing Paul, the guy who they think killed her father. And then things come into it and it's like, <laughs> who? oh my gosh, it's just really good. I really enjoyed this. So Jenna was right. It doesn't happen often, but it happened this time. So congrats to Jenna. The next book I borrowed from the State Library is called The Edge of Falling and it's by Rebecca Searle. And the tagline is, what if you save someone's life and it changed yours forever? I haven't read this yet. I think it's based in New York about a girl named Kagi, okay, um, but apparently it's good, so I don't know, I just grabbed it and I was like, this looks interesting, boom. The next book I got from my set library is Tandem by Anna Jarzab. I think I actually did a review of this when I first read it a little while ago, because it is so good, and it's another interdimensional travel one, but it's like, I love this book, I love this book. If I can find the review that I did of it, I'll link it below. But this is just, this is a good book. I like this book. And again, I'm coming back to it and I'm reading it because it was that good. We're almost there. We're only four more books to talk about. The next series that I got from the State Library is this one called Pivot Pivot by Casey West. Got the first and second one. These are the kind of books that don't say on the spine if it's the first or the second. And that drives me insane because how do I know? How do I know? And I think it's another interdimensional one. <laughs> What if now, this very moment isn't set in stone? What if you're just seeing a vision of what could be? Sounds great. I don't know why there are so many interdimensional books out. I don't know why I love them so much, but we're just gonna keep reading them until I read all of them. Yep. Is interdimensional the new dystopian future? The next book I got from the State Library is The Free World by David Mes Mesmogis. Mesmogis. And it's about the Kronaskis, who they said Russian? This family basically fled to Rome. They are Soviet Jewish refugees and they are trying to stay alive. It's something about Canada. I really like the cover on this one. This is where good illustration and good design will get you places. Yes. The next book I got from the State Library is Parlor Games by Marika Bigal Biagio. I think it's based in like Downton Abbey times and I'm really the cover again. Like, you wonder why I'm studying design. And the last book I got from the State Library is Landline by Rainbow Rowell. Now I've read Rainbow's book Fangirl and I loved that and I was like, this is really great because it's not just romantic, it's also got that whole fan fiction thing going on, which is a whole other video. Um, but I love her writing style. I love her, it's so relatable. It's just like, I can just sink into it. So I'm really excited to read this. I have no idea what it's about, but it's, I'm excited. Something about someone's marriage. I think her marriage is failing, so she has to figure out how to save it. If you got a second chance at love, would you make the same call? Because it's a telephone call. I don't know, would you? I think that if you had a second chance at love, you would do things differently because you want to do it better. But then that could end up badly because then it wouldn't be the same relationship. I get really deep and philosophical after I've talked about 20 odd books. So you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing this monster stack of books that I'm going to read. I've read, I've read five of them already. And then there's the books that I'm rereading. I'm going to leave them to last. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up because I think it does something about maybe getting me more money from ads. I don't know. I'm trying to earn a return on this channel, okay? If you like this video and want to see more of them, make sure you subscribe. I post videos sometimes. All my social media links are down below. As always, I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day. I love you all and goodbye. I rambled so much and I don't know how much of that is going to be coherent, but I guess I can just cut stuff if it doesn't make sense because I talk about so many books.